We all want to find our soulmate, and yet we go about it all wrong. I should know because when I started dating, I made every mistake in the book. But I also learned some really important lessons. Today I'm going to be talking about three common dating mistakes that Catholics make and how you can avoid them. The first dating mistake is dating when you have low self-esteem, or even worse, if your sense of self-worth is really low. And unfortunately, I had to learn this the hard way because when I first started dating, I had a very low sense of self-worth. At this point, I was a lapsed Catholic, so um, my faith in God, my relationship with God was all but non-existent. And I had very low self-esteem. And when you have a low sense of self-worth, that can set you up for some pretty serious consequences. We might feel like we want to find somebody who's going to make us better, who's going to fix us. But that's a pretty serious pitfall because nobody can fix you. Only we can fix ourselves with help from God. And another real consequence of dating when you have a low self-esteem is you will likely go for the very first person who shows some kind of interest in you because you don't believe that you can do any better. This was a really serious problem that I ran into where I started to date the very first person who paid attention to me. And as a result of this, I ended up in a very toxic and unhealthy relationship. But I stayed in this for almost eight years because I just didn't believe that I could do any better. And psychologically and spiritually, this really hurt me in so many ways. So if you're struggling with low self-esteem or a low sense of self-worth, I really urge you not to start dating until you've really addressed the root cause of those issues. A lot of times this will mean working with a therapist or a professional who can help you get to the root cause of these issues and to develop a much healthier way of thinking about yourself and a much healthier self-concept. But what's also really important too, I found, is working on your relationship with God. When I did return to the church and I really got serious about working on my relationship with God, it really improved my self-concept and my sense of self-worth in so many ways. Because when you realize that God loves you just as you are, and that you are a child of God, more than anything else, that really helped me to see that I'm valued and that I have worth and that I deserve somebody who truly loves me as I am. So I definitely encourage you to work on your relationship with God. You may find that that will really help you a lot if you're struggling with low self-esteem. The second big dating mistake that Catholics make is dating before you're ready for marriage. Now this might sound like a really bizarre concept if you've grown up in Western society where it's all about playing the field. But in a lot of religious traditions, it's really the norm to not date until you're actually ready for marriage. Sadly, I don't really see this to be the case in so many Catholic communities. And I think that's a real shame because if you're dating with no intention of marriage, in a lot of ways that really sets you up for failure you're very likely to fall into a relationship that's like purely physical and that's totally based on what another person can do for you or what you can do for the other person. And yet there's often no real love there. But if you're dating with the intention of getting married, that totally changes your perspective and your outlook on everything. And I definitely found that to be the case for me too. After I got out of that toxic relationship, I realized that I was very serious about wanting to get married and wanting to find the person who was truly my soulmate. And so this time when I approached dating, it was with a very different frame of mind. 
this time I was looking for someone whose values aligned with my own. And when I did this, I became much more serious and much more discerning about the different people that I could date. On another note too, is if you're only dating for the sake of getting into a relationship, it's just so easy to fall into that trap of getting into a physical relationship without marriage and falling into sin. So if you're a Catholic and you're serious about getting into a Catholic marriage, I really encourage you to consider if you're truly ready to get married before you dive into dating. The third big dating mistake that Catholics make is dating someone who doesn't share your values. This turned out to be another really, really huge mistake for me because when I was struggling with my low sense of self-worth and I just wanted to be in a relationship with anybody, I ended up in a relationship with someone who, whose values were totally incompatible with mine. And you might try to make it work for a while, but if the values are not compatible, in the end, it's not gonna work out. It's going to really be a dead end. And the other thing too is that, unfortunately, if you're with somebody who doesn't share your values, who doesn't respect your values, it's so easy to end up compromising your values. When I first started dating, I was still holding on to some of my Catholic values. And one of the big things was I didn't want to engage in premarital sex. And when I entered a relationship with someone who didn't share my values, at first he, to some extent, tolerated it. But as time went on, he made me feel like there was something wrong with me, that I was so weird for wanting to wait until marriage. And it got to the point where he wasn't going to stay with me if I didn't meet his needs. And at that point in my life, I didn't believe I could do any better. And I was totally terrified of being alone. I thought this was like the only chance I would ever have to be in a relationship. And so I gave in to that pressure and I experience really terrible guilt. And even after I was out of that relationship and I came back to the church and I went to confession, for many years I carried a lot of shame and regret that I didn't live up to my values. It was a truly hard lesson for me to learn, but I learned a lot. And when I did decide I was ready to start dating again after I'd allowed myself time to heal and to really understand myself as a person and work on my relationship with God. This time when I went back to dating, it was with the idea that I was going to find the person who I was going to marry and that we had to share a lot of values in common. And I actually like wrote down all things that I valued that were non-negotiable, that my potential spouse would also need to share. And that really helped so much when I started dating again, because very quickly I was able to see who didn't share my values and I was able to really quickly filter them out. And when I connected with uh, Matt, who later became my spouse, I realized very early on that we shared all of the same values and that we had this really powerful connection and we were both on this journey which ultimately led me back to the church and led Matt to join the church. So it was truly amazing what finding someone with those compatible values, how that changed everything. And that's something I really urge you to do too, when you're ready to start dating, to actually write down what your values are and to be really clear about them and to make sure that the person that you end up dating does share your values. Sharing values and sharing your faith in God 
that is truly essential for a Catholic marriage. If you're in your season of singlehood, I really hope that you'll take these things to heart. And the very best thing that you can do during this time where you're single, one is to work on becoming the very best version of yourself. And the other is to continue to strengthen your relationship with God. Because having a strong relationship with God and Jesus and Our Lady, if you pray to them and you ask them to guide you, they will. They will guide you to make the right decision and to find the person who's truly your soulmate and who you can enter into a Catholic marriage with. I also want to mention that if you're in the process of growing your relationship with God and you need some more ideas for how to grow that relationship, I do have another video about how to grow your relationship with God, which I've linked to the end of this one. And if you know someone who really needs to hear this message, please share the video with them too. Thank you for being here and have a very blessed day.